Chris here, Mario Kart Madman, and today we are here with a Madman podcast. I am joined by him, her, and her, as you'd expect by now. Hello, hello. You're him, her, and her. Yeah. Here we are. That's they totally. are ecstatic. Mm. That's right. I sure am. I'm ready for some topics. I'm ready. Ooh. Let's go. Let's Ooh. go. All right. All what right. you got for us? So... First topic of the day, Warner Brothers Discovery purges a variety of shows and movies, both from their live action and Cartoon Network branches, especially the Cartoon Network branch, and erases them from their service in an effort to make the platform dedicated to live action adult content. Oh, well that's, okay. So what did they get rid of? So basically, sorry, let's start from the beginning. I had a plan with this. So the effort, it caused shows such as Infinity Train to be lost to time because it was the only way to watch it. And what's what's, what's crazy train? is Infinity Train was a Cartoon Network series that not only gained critical acclaim for its characters and story, but you know, for the world around it and the world building. And it was one of the better received Cartoon Network shows. Yeah, you saw it? I think I saw a trailer once. Oh, got it, got it, got it, got it. So you're gutted by this. So no, you're so, gutted. But, no, no, but, but there's a story <laughs> attached to it. Everything changes for you, man. Damn. But no, no, there's a story worst. attached to it. There's four seasons of it. There's the first season, the only season to get a DVD release. So it was on Amazon and other retailers. And it, it completely got sold out because people kept buying it like crazy. And then now they're sculpting it on eBay for like $500, $600. Okay. Which is wild. I would never have expected that. It's capitalism. <laughs> All right, what All else? Right. What, other, what other shows that... Uh... Uh, got canned. Got well, pushed. well, not shows. These are some other stuff. But uh, there was supposed to be an Amazing World Gumball movie, which was a bridge into a reboot series exclusive to HBO Max. Wait, is Gumball canceled? Yeah, it, it yeah. Get ended. Aww. Oh, so I mean, they were saying, let's try to bring it back. Yeah. But then they looked at it and said, this ain't going to work. Yeah. Cut. <laughs> So, it wasn't just canceled. I remember it, the series finale. It was a cliffhanger, but it was on purpose because they were going to probably make the movie and then the reboot. But now it'll never be answered. So they were going. Yeah. They were going to make the movie and a reboot, or. Yeah. Like the movie the show was to be a bridge. What if the movie would have bombed? Were they still going to make the reboot? They probably would have because they were probably going to put the. Re they were going to start making it immediately. The idea was. It's not going to be just your average Gumball Season 7. It was going to be like literally a brand new show in a Gumball World universe. But if they put in the movie and they put it in theaters or they put it on the show and nobody watched it, they were still going to say, okay, well, that didn't work. I mean, let's throw some more money at this. I mean, if it made no money, I'm sure. If somebody shows up. I think uh, it was going to be for HBO, It was going to be HBO Max. It movie. wasn't going to go to, uh, like, theaters and stuff yeah. like that. I yeah, have... but, don't you, but HBO Max is not going to be HBO Max anymore. That's the idea. You see, the literally... Did we ever even talk about that? What do you mean? The HBO Max, and when as they merge, they're making a new... They're making a new subscription. Like, HBO Max is gone. That's a fact. In a year or so. That's mm. a fact. Yeah, Discovery is... Uh, when they merge... They're coming up with a new combined name. Name. Discovery Max. Well, no, because it's not a combination that's just replacing a world. I hope that's a fact because that's not what I heard. This bitch, that's all. This is how we got to combine your names. HBO discovers. Yeah, there was a whole thing, and they're changing up the show. People were really upset because HBO Max is one of the few that people actually really like the the actual you know content the, the app itself you know mm -hmm. they like how it works they like oh look the nice. content in there they like all the all the stuff that they do they've had a few popular shows like lovecraft country was super popular so, when it came but out. maybe that's why they're cutting all this stuff because it's not going to fit the mold of what they're looking to do in the future with that new yeah. so the, are they no. mer it's two companies merging and no, 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 working no, 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 together no, 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 no. or hbo no, no, no they uh, bought no, no, no. them the discovery now. They bought is Warner. the bigger? Oh, okay. Is the bigger, Discovery which is bought. which is weird because you think to yourself, Discovery. Warner Brothers makes all these class. They have all these classic franchises. They must be so huge. And Discovery makes like the Discovery Channel and whatever Food else Network. They make. <laughs> but like that. there's a lot more people who watch that stuff yeah. than watch superheroes and other nonsense. Especially, well, not all superheroes, but DC heroes for yeah. sure. Um, <laughs> So Discovery is actually the much bigger fish. 
Yeah. Okay, so, uh, so this makes sense now. So I'm not say I, I I'm. It seems like maybe not H HBO doesn't have as much of a say. <laughs> so I think I think some of the executives decisions are moved being read over there to Discovery, but I think Discovery is, is running the show. Is, is, is their so ship? You know yes. what I'm saying? Like they picked up. They were they're the big, huge ship on the sea. And Warner was the little was little Tom bump. Hanks on the raft. You know what I'm saying? And they were like, "Hey, what? come on up, we'll save you, right?" And now Warner's like, Rose. "But I got all these movies." They're like, "Bro, you're not bringing on shit on for shit." Rose from Titanic. <laughs> on that, like, on Rose that, is like, "Get up. off the raft, Jack! I'm about to die." <laughs> Jack, I'm sorry, can't bring you with me. No. I gotta let go. No, so I think that's that's just what we're seeing here. We're seeing. There's a lot of things that are done for fans, and I'm doing quotes that nobody can see, quote unquote fans who have this uh, this fake outrage that all these shows are gone when they didn't watch them, and that's why they're getting rid of them, because if they were actually popular, they would never get rid of them. But the point is, is that there's going to be victims when you have an, a, a huge acquisition like this. I mean, it's merging. They're basically being absorbed into Discovery. Yeah, it's in the process. I mean, obviously the big stuff stayed. Harry Potter's still there. Game of Thrones is exactly. still there. All the big stuff that people really care about. And even, fun fact, I, it's funny you brought this topic up because I just read yesterday or the day before, um, the head of WB Games, the guy who's in charge mm. of WB Games, right? They did a little interview with him because... All the other departments are getting what you just said, purged and having all these issues, right? They're taking losing shows and all this stuff. The game department is profitable game. and nothing has been taken off of their slate. So all the games they're making are staying in development. All their studios are staying funded. Nothing's being lost on their end. It's just the movies and every TV and everything else that they have going on that's being beat up so the next mortal Kombat is safe we're is. we're all safe everyone it's good to come out <laughs> i think um uh, the amazing world of gumbo was gumbo was dropped by cartoon network as well right no no, no. Well, while they Cart were there they canceled the show no, no no well i mean the show it kind of ended i think the creator mm -hmm. wanted to end at that point but basically yeah yeah, yeah. They, they went to him and said listen this show's over okay i want to end it <laughs> i don't know no <laughs> problem <laughs> I know exactly Maybe. how to end it. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't know. I was looking forward to it. Gumbo was a very good cartoon. I remember. It was great, but it makes yeah. sense why they wouldn't want to start spending money on something brand new that they have any. Like, Gumbo was before. popular, but it wasn't as popular as Adventure Time or a regular what? show. That's what? the and problem. The funny thing is that. Go ahead. That was one of the few shows, like, there were a few animated series that weren't killed. Like, Rick and Morty survived. Harley Quinn survived. A lot of the really popular. Rick and Morty's series. from. Age of Warner Brothers? Oh, yeah, that show is funny as <laughs> like, heck. I can't wait for that game. The, I, I all the review High on Life. High on Life, I remember. Oh, it's that. so funny. It's so yeah. funny. It looks really The good. people who made that show, they are very talented. They are very funny people. And, you know, you can tell. They are very funny. They're good at what they do and they enjoy. It, so. All right, so how about this? Run down a list of any shows that you know or movies that are cut or canceled that were ever in production or was being thought of. Well, I know that there was supposed to be a um, Family Matters holiday special. Did I do that to the holidays? It was supposed to be called. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. The problem is that the only people who were laughing at that are probably in this room right now because <laughs> nobody knows who Steve Urkel is anymore. Well, I'm, I'm glad that's canceled. Okay. <laughs> and I, feel, I feel like that was... That happened already. Not every show needs to be yeah, remade, back, rebooted. Yeah. Not yep. everything needs to come back. It was from that time, and that time has passed. And I mean, it's mm. it, it come up with new stuff. Dude, they won't even reboot the shows that I would kill to see, like Friends. They should oh never gosh. reboot that. No, yes. no, 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 no. You say yourself, it's a perfect storm. Rebooting it would just make it you inevitably yeah. compare it to the original, and you're That's always gonna true. say it's gonna be they worse. Should, they should just let them all be parents. To grown. Oh kids. my god, that's such a corny thing. Now our kid is Boy Meets Girl and Girl Meets World. Your face. What about Emma and Ben and stuff? 
Well, they did this, and yeah. Monica had two kids yeah, at the Monica end. Monica had yeah, two. Twins. They could throw in from Phoebe, a bunch from Joey, because he was always <laughs> out there in the streets. Well, he's, he's back from California. Let's tie it up, man. Who Bring knows him back how many bevins he had that he didn't know live, about. Let him live with Chandler and Monica in the Still? garage. Yeah, right? Still, like they said that yeah. they were going to make for him. That's hilarious. That but, would be epic. But, see, but this is how yeah. they brought some of the other shows. Why not? That would be great. You know what happened? A lot of the people from these shows, like um, Cobra Kai, right? Mm -hmm. these, oh, they, Cobra they, Kai. They were not huge. People from um, uh, House, what, uh, Full House. They did the Fuller House, but they never became superstars, right? Uh, after their and, original show, yes. they never became hugely famous. They and were always famous sort of for famous. Full House. Like John Stamos. Well, well, he some does people, movies. Some people, obviously, some people. John not, Stamos got famous. Yeah, he, he got, got famous, famous, but he got famous. not and Rachel famous, right? Not yeah, Jennifer. Uh, yes, Jennifer Aniston. Not superstar. They didn't yes, they're not up, but superstars. They, they had good careers, yeah. but him and the and the father um, who just passed away. What's his name? Um, uh, what father? From Full, Full House. Oh, John Bob. Oh, Bob, 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 rest no. in peace. Not Bob Stamos. Saget. Bob Saget, yeah. Um, he was he was kind of famous. But the point that uh, I think she's making the is new that, stars is like that, the that they never got so big that they can they 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 didn't become bigger than a reboot. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So that's the point. But it. those were also successful reboots, right? Fuller House. I was against the whole Fuller House coming back thing because I didn't necessarily enjoy the Full House show. But um, I watched the first two seasons, I believe, and they were okay. Um, you know, slightly corny, but okay. <laughs> and then it just got way out of hand with the corniness for me. Um, I think they changed the writers or something. <laughs> uh, I can't say that for a fact, but I hope they did because Jesus Christ, oh my it gosh. got really bad. Yeah, it got so bad. It was horrible. But it had a solid first two seasons, so I'll give it that. So, hey, it started somewhere. It was, yeah. You, you can, if you see the show for what it is, enjoy the first two seasons. And then it's like, oh my God, what am I watching? I think I, it's bigger if you enjoy the original. If I agree. You, if, you, if you enjoy the original a lot, then this had more impact because it showed what came of the people that you watched so much. Which, do you know the, the one thing that you would think that they would at least at some point do it, the, the twins. She wanted, oh, they wanted, yeah, yeah, they wanted nothing she to do with that show. It. And I understand <laughs> they're big. They're, they are bigger. There we go. So they are bigger than the what show. What do they do though? Nothing. They're not bigger they, than the show. They're, they're as, married to people. As bigger than people the show. they are. They, they've taken, listen, you can either become bigger or you can essence bigger, right? So if you don't feel like you are at that level, then People kind of go with it. Yeah, they they want to portray that they're bigger, mm -hmm. but obviously you don't see them. Do they have Do they have clothing or something? Or yeah, they food? have a they have a bunch of stuff. And then also, um, they did make. They were the only ones that got like, well, from what I know, that got like picked up for movies and stuff like that. They were yeah, right when afterwards. They were only when they were kids. Yes, when they were younger, obviously, but they started as kids, right? Yeah, so I essentially, think they, were, they were making a bunch of. Um, they made a bunch of those twin movies. Mm -hmm. you know? oh. Um, oh, I did a parent trip. But they, 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 you know, it would be weird to see them now because they look crazy. Mm. They look they a bit don't. off. <laughs> yeah, they, they definitely don't look like the Michelle. And you can't get them both. You can't get them. Michelle. Listen, you can't get them to smile. <laughs> yeah, that's, <laughs> that's another thing that you can't get two Michelles. It's a yep. split. It so was like, a split which one thing. were you going to have come in? So it makes sense. They went to both probably, and they probably both declined. Oh, the little kids was like, "You got to do it. You got to yeah, do it." Sure. Yeah, yeah. She didn't want to do it again. The, you know, um, uh, Will and Grace. Yeah. Uh, when um, Karen, they do that credit card thing, and uh, yeah. Jack is swiping the credit card. <laughs> oh, that like, was a good decline. Decline. It was good. I I enjoy that one I feel a like lot. That. 
And it's it, they canceled it though, right? Uh, uh, maybe. Did they? Yeah, they canceled the reboot. Wow, that's sad. Like, no, well, well they, I mean, they, they have a few canceled. seasons, yeah. right? I think maybe, finished. maybe three. Yeah. Well, they made one grace is that it ended in a way that there was room for more. Sometimes a show, also the times as well. Like that's why they should never touch the office. Even if they do successfully bring it back, it'll never be the same. But that doesn't make that doesn't make sense because mm. any show, it, when you fast forward time, can come back because. You, just because the show finished doesn't mean that you, there's no more stories to tell from it. It's just yeah. that show, the series that you made up to that point, that was the conclusion of that series. But just like Will and Grace came back, they came back because they weren't dead. <laughs> they, they didn't die in the show. They still have a life <laughs> later on. And if they put them back in a circumstance where they have to be back together or they're back in that building or they're doing whatever then you can relive that type of stuff in today's climate. That's the beauty. As time goes on, there's different stuff to talk about. But you put, you fuse it with what made the show funny before, like the credit card thing and having yeah. them do it. It's, I mean, it's really, it was office, really funny. The thing about Office, I do think it's very funny. The problem though is that it's got dark humor that wouldn't but, be accepted. But that doesn't they mean that it can't be. episode about what's worse, slavery or Holocaust, literally. Okay, so but, saying, but you're trying to define how many seasons did that show have? I think eight. No, no, it went for 2012. Two, help me out here, please. 2005 to 2012. I think but I do, I do, amount. I do believe though that The Office is a newer show and needs time needs to pass. I do also agree with you right now that the comedic of that sh elements, of, the comedic elements of that show are not acceptable now because I feel like um, with the whole uh, Twitter and everything else, it will be canceled in about 30 seconds a, into the episode. <laughs> time, yeah, but that will be even funnier because then when, when they do that, when he says something, you always got somebody listening or watching and they're getting ready to say something to him. Like, Listen. like they're, oh, Michael's going to talk. Get your phone. Get your phone. We're about to We're going to get You know what I'm saying? Like, there's, piece of shit. there's definitely ways to do it. Now, obviously, you don't make him say those things, but there's plenty of funny things that can be done with a group of funny people doesn't have to be those things like that show wasn't every moment when it was funny about not. something racist or something sexist or something yeah it was his this is the thing his desire to fit in with yeah. them was funny enough that he and awkward enough it. now it doesn't need to be just brought into the office i think that show um would be nice just like we spoke about friends and branching out with their kids it would be nice to see jim and and pam together and like they, they, didn't have, together? they did but dating like they didn't do like oh we got married I, from what i remember i don't think they got married and everything like that but i do believe that jim john the the actual yeah. actor he became too famous to well i mean I steve so. carell did this show though if steve carell can go ahead and do the show, then I think he can Wait a minute, hold on. Michael Scott, he, uh, or Steve Carell, he left a season before the show ended, right? Yeah, and he got a new Ed boss. Helms. Huh? Ed, Ed, Hel Ed Helms he took his place, the guy from The Hangover. Yes, and he came, but he came back, Steve Carell, I think for the last, for the last episode only, he came back? Oh, I don't know. I, don't know. I never finished The Office, but I've seen remember. a good amount well, to know it was funny. I guess now we know why it kind of stopped. I, once, well, the always, characters... once the big person mm -hmm. decided, he was always the big person no matter yeah. what even though the story had other people involved you always have a central person right yeah so That's really funny. yeah he left and then once because he but it's clear he went on to do a crap ton of movies like he's a real famous person i did right. try to watch the original and that did not click for me oh the, one, the office okay. yes and that did not click um but the office was really funny um, I per what was the other one? 30, 30, 30 Rock or something like that? that? 30 Rock? 30 Rock? Well, that's was, it? was that the name of the other one with Tina Fey? Oh, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. At the, the same time, they, would, they would always win the Emmys. <laughs> and they were always versus The Office. But the 30 Rock never really clicked for me. No, that's a certain type of uh, comedy. comedy that I didn't really dig. But everyone, so going back, I do think that this show is newer, so to make a reboot, it needs a little bit, maybe more time. Maybe more but time, yeah. uh, when it comes to Will and Grace, the dynamic between Jack and Karen was uh, like insane. I love that show. Nice. Back to Friends. 
they need to bring that back somehow. But I, I think every actor is too big for it. Too big and almost too old. Oh like, my god! Like visually, like visually, yes. Like Chandler, well, Chandler, looks yes. Like crazy, Co uh, Courtney Cox looks crazy. <laughs> I don't think. No, no. I, mean, I think Chandler looks very aged, which is funny because I think we we saw his. He's he was a younger one, one of the younger ones when yeah, they were making yeah, the he show. Was the young one. But he looks. But he, he you looks know, he the did, oldest. Uh, he was battling with all those drugs and not yeah. and all that stuff. But everybody, basically, everybody else who. I mean, they all went and did stuff. That's the that's mm -hmm. the cool thing. Every single one of them. Ch uh, Phoebe had her own shows. Uh, she still Chandler has had his own. Yeah, yeah, Chandler had his own shows. But you know what? Ross, has Ross show. had his own shows. Yes. Yeah, On what? Got, Where's that one? Um, Peacock. Yeah, Peacock. Peacock. Yeah. Um, Rachel, obviously, she, Rachel's the one that blew up, right? Mm -hmm. Rachel's yeah. the famous person, like super famous. Thank you. But Joey had his own shows. So like, they, and he had good shows. Under, oh my underrated gosh, underrated, shows. yes. But Joey's yeah, shows were yeah. good. Yes. Uh, Joey season two was good. Wait, uh, hold on, season two never came out. Yeah. The, when? Yeah, the, season, when you have it. Yeah, no, no, season, season one, one, one you're talking about. No, season... No, no I, I know season two was two, filmed, yeah. but it never released. Oh, that's true, Oh, that's yes. right, that's right, that's the, right. The first right. season was yeah, only... So, that show was great. It was super funny. I think everybody we, was still just bitter. We saw it, right? The yes. that we were on YouTube or something? We have a, yeah. no, we have a DVD. Yeah. They got married. With the nephew and... That um, was really good. Yeah. It was um, so funny. So, that, that agent that he had? Yep, yep. Oh, my gosh. She was hilarious. Oh no, God. that old one. I forget her name. The shark. The she shark. was so what? The... Wait. Yes, but she did that episode where she, um, Phoebe and Monica were trying to dodge yep. her and she yep, came yep, and yep. she was dancing for yep, Chandler. Yep, yep, and he yep. was like, she could dance. <laughs> yeah, she's in the. Oh, Amanda? The yes. yes. Uh, yep, so she's the agent in California. Oh. Well, was her name Amanda or did they just try to dupe us and. Make us not think that she was ever on the show. They, they may have. They may That's have. Funny huh. that. But she, so he had that show. He had episodes, which was mm. really, really mm -hmm. freaking good. Um, Man with a plan. Man with a plan. That. I don't know if that's still out, but that was huh. that was a good show too. But he's like really, he oh. kind of lost his look, right? Like yeah. his. Yeah. He still looks like Joey, but he's obviously like he, he's he's entire Joey. Yeah. He takes like a. <sighs> these uh deep breaths when he's yep, yep, yep. <laughs> yep. yeah that's funny oh yeah all right yeah i think that i get it they could do it they probably won't but they could like they i'm could. sure they, they really could. really wanted to or they had some money burning in their pocket like hey let's make a friends reboot you know they could i mean they they i think they pretty much already said that it won't happen um because it's the people who made the story they don't have the like they don't have the spark for something new that everybody's going to be on board with because it's it is a mo the beauty of the show even though i i selfishly just want to see the mm -hmm. what come what came from it yeah. you know yes. what i'm saying where yes. are they now in their lives but i could also see what's going to be what's going to be the defining plot of that show going forward nothing. nothing it's just more it's just fluff for us to see what comes from it right worst yeah, case scenario it'll be like one worst case scenario it'll be like friends epilogue only on hbo max or some yeah, see that's all i need though Give me one episode, <laughs> one sh an hour and a half long show episode, but it's a movie, right? How, how about this? We hold off on the extras of Sex in the City because they've made so many oh movies and so many extras. So let's hold off on that and let's let's focus on Friends for a little bit and maybe give us something. You no, know, because they're so similar. Little bites, <laughs> yes. Yeah, let's just a bite. We just need I a just little would bite. Love to see them. In their life, just show an episode of what everybody's doing. The, the also why they can't do a full blown show is because that show was so big, in 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 its time essentially. And the thing about about it, it was that it was it ended right before all this stuff started, right? With what? With with social media and oh, and, yeah, and you know. all these things where they would just really destroy a show or a person. For, That's wrong. They can't please for everyone. Something that they say. Like exactly. someone had a different ending for someone in their mind. Oh, they probably went this. They probably did this. But then not give a concrete answer. Then people are gonna be like, oh no. But some might be like, heck yes. So it's not. It's impossible to please everyone. And that might be a slap in the face to some old time, long time fans that pictured such a perfect ending. 
Yeah. That is yeah. true. Yeah. Like, like nobody the two would of be Ross and Rachel. Divorce. Can you imagine if they try to make them divorce? <gasps> divorce see? again. No. Yeah, see, but no. that's the type of crap that, that they will do. To well, to make the show exciting, yeah, right? And, and that won't be exciting. No, that would be heartbreaking. Yeah, that would be. Or um, Chandler and Monica didn't oh make it. Get the but now their kids are <laughs> older and they're all. They all hate Chandler. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not. Cool. Now a show, shows are old enough that should come back, would be King of Queens. Or everybody loves Raymond. Maybe something in that universe. Because remember, those two are in the same universe. Yes, maybe they merge them that, into in that one show. King of Raymond. Oh, because the parents died. King of Queens moved. The parents of, yeah, of Raymond. Everybody loves Raymond. Raymond. Yes. They both died. And also, um, from. Um, I mean, to bring back that 70s show. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the 90s show. Oh, yeah. yeah, but that's doing exactly. So this all comes down that's to. That's adapting. What, this all right? comes down to what her, her idea was is that certain people got famous like real superstars and some people didn't pretty much if your show had people come out of it and they're not super famous then they could be remade mm -hmm. because they would love to be back in there yeah doing something that you know was familiar to them as well it's nostalgic and i think um so it for for uh king of queens also carrie the father he passed away as well. Oh, J uh, Jeremy oh, yeah. Stiller. He actually literally, pandemic started like 2020. Like he had a long life. He just died like, like only a year or two ago. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. but I do think that maybe, because they did do an overlapping episode where Ray went golfing with um, yep. with Doug mm -hmm. in yeah. the King of Queens um, yep. show. They so they, like could, they could just, yeah, they move just... next to each other and all these yeah. two guys are doing like ridiculous things. That would be insane yeah I, well, I feel like ray, sure. ray wouldn't leave but maybe doug and see but they're in queens that's like the king of queens that's yes the point. So, so they move ray around ray. maybe they moved because yeah. you know the parents aren't there oh my god ray's brother what was his name robert robert, robert. yes yeah. oh that was funny well robert's robert's more famous now than yes he did the show. i do believe so I, he's done quite a few things he's got a few good shows yeah, out he's there. had his own shows that were yeah. good mm -hmm. yeah. funny i just think that they're gonna do something it wouldn't be the same thing but again it will be in that universe I meaning a third show that's different maybe crosses over sometimes but it's canon to that world basically yeah, i agree that's what i think would maybe happen so what was the topic? This was about HBO. Oh, oh got it, got we it, cannot it. let one side. There's one more thing I, that like we sh I don't want to skip over. Oh, real quick, that, sorry. The the seventy show is coming back just because we said it very quickly. But they're yeah. doing a reboot for mm -hmm. Netflix, right? Yep. Netflix is the one that's yeah. picking it up. And it's with the same characters, not the eighty show where they tried to do something new. It's a seventy show, but now everyone's older. Mostly everyone. It is called and the seventy show, or they're called you said the ninety show. show. So the ninety show coming to Netflix. I'm gonna watch that. Wait, 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 wait. The main people are coming back. Most of them, yes. So except for the rapist guy. Yeah. That what? One. Oh goodness. Um, yeah. That you know that puts like it does change. It does change. Yeah. Especially yeah. with uh, the girl who was in there who was so young at the time. Yes. And oh, she yeah. was. He had a moment when he was. With well, they the were show. dating, yeah, yeah, in the show. Um, Mila Kunis. Mila Kunis. Um, so, but how Ashley are they going to could... make the 90s show like they're in the 90s when these people are like a million years old? <laughs> they're the parents and then they I have think... their kids. Their kids do whatever the heck and uh -huh. they're still there. Oh, but they're also bringing Red and, and um, what's her, what was her name? Oh my God, Ki Kitty? Kitty. Yeah, they're coming back too. That's going to be so cute. So, but hold on. How, so is it about so their kids were born in the nineties, but this is a present time show. What? No, 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 no. It's not nowadays. Is that ninety show because it takes place in the nineteen nineties? So maybe yeah. they must adults with kids or something. Yeah, they're we don't adults know yet. Already. We'll see. It's but about Ashton Kutcher does have a show on Netflix, right? The Ranch or something like that. That, or they, that, they, that show had the rapist guy. I thought he was. I thought that was out. Yeah, I don't. Well, they're know. not gonna erase the show. I think it's he's just like, out hey, the I show. Don't. And the show is still going is potentially, oh. or it kept going for a little bit, but he was out of the show. Okay. Uh, they, so if if it, they're already filmed in it, they can't do anything. Like Ezra Miller, they're trying to basically he doesn't he doesn't do anything anymore. Actually, as a matter of fact, he was on the run when he did the Snyder cut, which that was wild. It, they, just, they never knew about it because yeah. So just to be clear, you're talking about the Flash. Yeah, Flash. Okay. Yeah, so just know. so you know, oh, nobody knows that guy's name. 
<laughs> yeah, so the Flash <laughs> show, who he is, yeah. the series, yeah, that got canceled, right? The Flash series, yeah. No, oh, that they, they're still debating on what they're gonna do with the movie. Oh, the C the Arrowverse, please call the CW shows. They sold CW. Yeah, yeah, but he has a movie. Yeah, I know Flashpoint or something yeah. like that, and so they don't they want him back. It. But they don't know if they're even gonna make the movie. The problem anymore. is that they they think the movie's really good, so they're oh, torn. They're, yeah, because they really like the movie, but they don't know. Wait, wait, was it filmed? They, yeah, it was filmed already. Um, they're, but they, again, supposedly it's, it's, supposedly it's really good. Yeah. So they're, um, debating they're, on, they're what, debating to on what to do. They're probably going to just hold off until it dies down a little bit so and then just release it anyway. But people are like demanding to like change the ending, like to introduce a different flag. Oh, that would be smart. Mm -hmm. Nah, they should just do a multiverse thing. It's like, um, they don't even have to scream Damn it out. Multiverse. <laughs> The multiverse. This is multiverse. what Flashpoint is. <laughs> oh, Flashpoint is movie. the multiverse. It's the bridge between all the multiverse. Like Michael Keaton's coming back as Batman, and the Ben Affleck Batman, and all the Batmans. Like it's like it's the variation. It's like a Marvel Secret Wars almost, where that's like all the variations fighting each other to be the true multi. That I'm hyped for that one. So I don't know. I will say this. I don't know what he did, but we do have to also understand that he's. I'm sure he already got paid for this movie to make the movie. Right? Mm -hmm. And it was not known that he did this and or whatever he did. I understand that doing something and then glorifying them and giving them this screen time and this atten this attention and fame it's not understandable. Like it's not okay. I would say if they do release it, it has to be understood that um they didn't know, right? So that well, and that has to like I I, guess, I agree I with. I guess it's, since it's not quite like it's not finished, like they yeah. recorded everything, but it's not like they didn't finish it. So now they're in that situation. They were thinking about trying to cut him out, like literally just replacing him. But he's in every single scene. <laughs> Massive. Like, well, Mass <laughs> like, well, we're, what are we gonna do now? Like, he's he's in every in single that would scene. actually That's that would be a huge yeah, blow. I mean, now they spent all that money to do all that, and then they literally just have to do it again. Which well, but, but it's not even doing it again. There's no way. There's, it's like lightning in the bottle. These movies. This is not like a uh, uh, easy robotic thing where it's like, okay, say your lines. Wow, that was so great. Oh, you killed somebody. Let's get you out. Put somebody in there. That doesn't mean that they're going to deliver it mm -hmm. the same way. Like, supposedly, this is, like, the, like Why? really good. Really? Like, this movie is supposed to be really, really good. Like, why was he... He's, like, robbing people. Yeah, and shit. Like, that's what he it like is. A he's, and stuff like that. Like, he's, oh, like, that's not like cool. doing oh. random things. Like, you're, you're freaking famous, dude. Why yeah. are you out here... Like, you literally got a movie. Maybe it started before he got the, that cash. But I think he was, like, going and robbing and then, like, coming to work. Like, <laughs> like all right, let me shoot my scenes. Oh, man, I got to go. I got a bank to hit before they go. Oh, uh, you're two minutes late. <laughs> what went wrong? He's like, I was robbing a bank. I mean, uh, I got McDonald's. <laughs> he was like, oh, I just held somebody up at gunpoint. They're like, oh, you're so funny. He's like, I really love Thank you. <laughs> he's, like, he's like, you're good at that. Oh, my God. He's going to come out after the fact. They're going to be like, they knew that he was doing this and they Listen. just brushed it under the rug. They thought he was being funny. Listen, he really took his role as the Flash. Yeah, he thought he could be yeah, seen. Yeah, he, he was, was like, like, you know what? what? I am a superhero. <laughs> it's weird because despite his criminality, like he was a great Flash. Like, remember the Justice League? He was one of the best parts of the movie. That's a great word. Very impressive use of that word. Mm -hmm. Despite his Criminality. Oh, I'm gonna look up the dictionary. It's like, just, <laughs> probably not real, but it sounded it's real just good. Reality to criminal. So. Yeah, but, <laughs> but, it, but it brought the, uh, the the class. To there we go. Yes. Yes. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, that's Let's beautiful. Go. beautiful, beautiful. Clap of the day. Clap of the day. Hooray! There we go. Hooray. Well, okay. I hope that he just released the movie because I don't think it's, think about it, everyone was in it. I don't think it's fair to not release it because of an actor's actions. I think that's just, it's, it was made already, just let it be, sort of thing. It was made before he became a, like, well, it was found out that he was a criminal, so whatever. Yeah, but really. they have to weigh out the, 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 so, the They view do have of the to people. weigh it out. It's upsetting for them, essentially, because they've spent all this money. It will literally be reshooting the entire movie and spending that money again. Which I'm sure they have, so it is what it is, right? But um, I do understand because I was a huge fan of 
um, Smallville, the show. And I used to watch reruns and everything. Um, and then the, the whole thing came out about Chloe, which she was such a big part of the yeah, show. That was a big thing. Which is funny because some of my, my, my favorite seasons, some of my favorite seasons are the ones, I think she missed like two of them. And I like the show without her in it much more. And then it came out that she was doing some type of some, similar, like cult some thing. cult thing. And I was like, oh, this is rough to see. Like after you hear about these things, to see the show in that light, it really messes up the show. So um, maybe let's do better background che checks before we decide to uh, grab somebody and change their lives and make them famous, right? Yeah. Like yeah. in depth. Like, that's yeah. really... Are you in a cult? Are you a... That's a, new, that's a, that's a new question. question. Yes. Hey, that's they it. said they weren't in a cult. <laughs> <laughs> we're no, we're making, we're, we're making light of it, but that's going to probably be one of the of the things for them to cover themselves. Yeah, they're going to bet. <laughs> yeah, gonna or better yet, yeah. they're going to be like, are you in a cult? And they're like, why, well, yes, I am. Yeah. <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> Do you rob people or banks or anything? Do you have any criminal intention? <laughs> Ever since I was a child. <laughs> Put this pen in your pocket and let me know if it excites you. <laughs> you excited? He's a thief. Yes, he got excited. <laughs> okay, so it starts that you're a crook and a murderer. You're hired. <laughs> All right, so, okay. um, so. so that was a great, uh, exciting topic. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, I kept saying I need to talk oh, about yes. something very important about yes. it. But it is DC. Now, don't brush it off right away because this is. it sounds bare in the beginning. But trust me, this is something very special. There was supposed to be a, an animated Batman series called the Caped Crusader. Now, obviously, there's a million animated mm. series. So don't obviously get upset. Mm. But it's an adult <laughs> animated Batman series. And you remember the Batman an the animated series from the 90s? Yes. <laughs> the idea is that he had a story and a whole picture for it, but obviously he had to cater towards kids, so he couldn't take it the route he wanted. So he had to obviously take it into consideration. This is the Batman anime series with all chains cut loose. Now it was supposed to be a gritty, uh, like almost like the new the Batman with Robert Patterson, a gritty, dark, a true, a uh, passionate story behind it. It was supposed to be the new Batman Got with it. Mark Hamill was supposed to come back for it be Batman, and it was supposed to be. Like the what ba the anime series was supposed to be, and from what they said, they said the show was incredible. From some of the stuff they made and wrote, there was supposed to be something really special. It got canceled. So, <laughs> but so, here's the cool thing. I'm sorry. Yeah. Rumor has it that Netflix was looking to buy out what they canceled, and they wanted to make their show Ooh. out of it. And because they saw it, they thought they thought it was so Netflix. good that they were like, we got we can't let this thing die. So, so they wanted to buy. So Warner Brothers is willing to sell. Maybe show. I don't. So, so basically, what you're saying is that the night is beyond Nothing Batman Beyond. Is that the one they're talking about? No, no, no. Right. It's the the classic, the original, like um, Mark Hamill's Batman and the original Batman Joker duo, like okay. the old the so, black and red. So basically, they were coloring the lines with like dark gray, but now they're gonna use black. <laughs> Very <laughs> funny. Maybe really dark. You know what I'm saying? And this is gonna be the <laughs> darkest. <laughs> Instead of no blood, they're going to uh, make little circles of red drops when somebody gets blood punched. <laughs> got it, got it. Yo, oh, that's going to yes. be adults. Because now it wasn't adult before. <laughs> no. But the cartoon is going to be adult now. Hey, they made an adult Harley Quinn series on HBO Max, and it's super successful. Listen, so, this, is, this is the, the yeah. good thing is potentially they are willing to sell these shows, right? We talked about The Amazing World of Gumball. We're talking about the Batman show. Essentially, they may be okay if Netflix throws enough money. Maybe. Now, yeah, Batman is the so. only one they said this about. I mean, everything else is doomed to a sad fate as of right now. So, you know, maybe more will come of it. But Batman right now is looking a decent future for Batman. I would say that at least I'm relieved because I thought you were talking about a real Batman show. <laughs> <laughs> but turns out, it's, turns out it's just a cartoon. So we're good. We're good. Oh man.
All what right. you said it's supposed to be like the Batman that's happening. <laughs> no. I don't know. DC. So we gotta have Robert Pattinson. Oh, Robert Pattinson, Pattinson. Pattinson. gonna be in the, in the show. I mean, the Batman part of DC is the one thing exciting. I'm not the biggest DC fan, but the Batman movies get me hyped. The Joker movies are incredible. I don't know. The Batman section is what hypes me up. So what so. you're saying is that. The real life Batman movies are the things that get you excited, not the cartoon Batmans that have been around forever that you don't watch. Well, I'm not looking to go backwards, but this, if this, if this is what they. <laughs> hey, listen. Let's move on. Guys. Let's move on to the next topic. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. That's probably for the best. Okay. Oh, uh, was that Batman? Oh, that was good. High five. Look at that. There we go. <laughs> okay. That was great. <laughs> <laughs> Now, anyway, <laughs> let's commence to the next topic. Oh my god. That's that was hilarious. priceless. That's so, <laughs> recently, there was the South Park anniversary concert that was held in honor of the show being around for 25 years. This concert included songs such as Blank Canada and Kyle's Mom from the movie <laughs> South Park, Bigger, Longer, and Uncut. So I think it's pretty cool that they decided to throw a huge celebration for one of the most popular shows in America. You know what's funny? We talk about uh, The Office can't come back because of the way it was. Yes. That these shows can't come back because of the topics. South Park mm -hmm. is crazy. <laughs> I've never seen South Park, but I heard it's not it as strong change. as it was before. It's this, yeah, but it's all the same stuff. It's still very... Like, it's very yeah. topical, and they make fun of the celebrities problems that... No, oh. of the topics in the world. It couldn't have yeah. changed that much if people are still watching it yep. as much, or if not more. I, ha yeah. I personally have not seen the show, but it's very controversial. Oh, yeah, now... Well, they yeah. make the games. Oh, I play the game. I love both oh, of the games. Go. I'd be... Uh, I, I, the funny thing is, I've never seen a single episode of that show... But both against the Stick of Truth and Fractured Butthole are hilarious and pretty dang great games. And I don't know. Yeah. Funny, some of the funniest games ever. Pretty wild. Yeah. But that's, that's the it's crazy that other shows can't come back because of it. Yeah, this one is still rocking. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if you... I didn't watch it again. And I barely watched it back in the day. But I did watch it every once in a while. Beavis and Butthead. Oh, because oh, I heard of that. Oh, they're rebooting it. For they, yeah, they think it's already out or it's coming out. Those like two yeah, kind of yeah. white trash crazy people. Mm -hmm. Um, that was why when I was a kid, because nobody knew back then that these shows were even out, so you can watch whatever you want. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. my parents didn't know, um, <laughs> they'll never know, but I would put it on, and it's just wild, like how they were. It was so bad, and that's coming back, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, yeah, it's almost like these Adapting. shows are still they're not looking for the world to want to watch mm -hmm. them, but that niche of people who find that funny or like that stuff they're still making it for them which it's like so hypocritical when it, it must be so upsetting to have shows cancel or people cancel over certain things and then shows like these are still just thriving yep. we talk about disney being so you know oh my cautious God. yes oh my goodness let's be cautious and they have the simpsons on their the Simpsons isn't the worst thing. Yeah, it is. It, it's not the worst, the but it's is, pretty bad. The Simpsons. It's is, not as bad as South Park, though. I no, know that. No, no way. Simpsons is just more like normal show, but with like Some all the editing jokes. that gets taken out of regular shows, they leave it in mm -hmm. here. So they say things that you maybe would just normally say, but it's not like the worst thing in the world. Yeah, like he treats his wife like trash and uh, Bart's a pretty child, strangles the child. It's, yeah, it's yeah. fun. But, you know. Child <laughs> abuse and all that stuff is in there. But There's nothing wrong with that. It's like back in the day. It's not real. Exactly. But then again, we can arguably say that no show is real. It's just a show. Yeah. Oh, but, again, oh, but then again, you look at cartoons. They're like, cartoons aren't real. This is great. Then you watch Roger Rabbit and you're like, oh, shoot, maybe they are real. <laughs> but, you know, I don't know. All right. <laughs> this is gonna be good. So the next topic <laughs> of the day. There we go. All right, next topic. So this enraged people around the globe. The PlayStation Five price increase in Europe, the United Kingdom, Japan, China, Australia, Mexico, and Canada. Yes, this outrage <laughs> around Mexico. the world. Mexico. 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 Nice. So this just happened like not too long ago. This is like a crazy thing because this is never, not that I know in my history of consoles, that 
after two years mm -hmm. of being on the market, they're raising the price in like in other places. Yes. They're they're not doing America, but the reason they're not doing America market. is the best reason ever. What's the if reason? they're target because market. Nope. Because Xbox is beating them in America. Oh so you can't raise the price in America because people are already wow. choosing nah, Xbox fine, yes. over you. Cloud <laughs> Right. And even Japan, Xbox is outselling the PS5 because of that beautiful Series S. That's the main yeah, reason. But the, I, the, that's the beauty. <laughs> I love the fact that they didn't raise it in America because they're admitting that they can't compete with Xbox if they raise the price in America. But you see what happens when they have power, they went everywhere else and raised the prices. Yep. That's not cool. Yep. These systems are expensive as, enough as it is, right? And I know that technology and everything, and they, they put a lot into it, blah, blah, blah. But, come on. Systems were, what, $200? Oh, well, systems what, have always what, been PlayStation expensive. Two, yeah, at the time, $200 or $250 yeah, was a lot. And then, obviously, it has, um, I remember technology that. Technology is way different. Now. That first huge jump, yep. right? When it went from the PlayStation 2 to the PlayStation 3 with the Blu-ray or uh, disc in it, right? It was a Blu-ray player. The price was like, oh my yeah, $600. gosh, six hundred dollars. Gosh, six hundred dollars. Oh, for PS3. And then it yeah. became normal. Oh, and PS2, that, right? They lowered the price. That no. was yeah, Nobody but nobody was buying it. But I'm yeah. sorry, like it became normal to spend to five, spend that six hundred dollars yeah. on these video games. Yeah, uh, the, it, it was four hundred dollars for the longest of time. Like it basically that was stood the, at three ninety nine. Yeah. But then with the new Xbox, not this one, the one before, mm -hmm. um, they came out at 500 which was a problem. And that's insane. And then, yeah, and that, that went to crap. So they had to get rid of the Kinect to bring it to 400 because the yeah. PlayStation 4 was 400 But this Series X and PlayStation 5, they're just at 500 yeah. But this is the thing. People didn't realize that PlayStation was testing out this new price everywhere because they've technically you could get it but it was very hard to get it without the horizon bundle so the horizon bundle was re is really the easiest way to get it mm -hmm. every place that come like walmart yesterday they came out with uh they had the bundle available then not the regular system <laughs> the bundle how much is the bundle uh 550 the same price that they're raising up mm -hmm. everywhere else they're raising it up by 50 dollars for the base system so oh, they were seeing, they're smart. okay, people are buying it at yes. 550 with Horizon. We Just take out Horizon it, yes. and it's still going to be 550. <laughs> so, but the other countries see Horizon, they're like, ew, Horizon, kill it. Ah. <laughs> 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 so um, that's, I don't know. That's a, that's a lot. Um, and we can't do backflips yet. <laughs> With what? The PlayStation. The thing is that PlayStation always crawls back. The PS3, it did garbage in its beginning because of how expensive it was. Xbox was on the top of the world in the first half. Gears of War. Halo, Halo 3 was like the biggest thing in the world. Finish the fight. It was everywhere. But then after the second half of their life, the casuals. And then the PS3 was like, it's alright guys, we'll gain back your trust. And then they start releasing a bunch of banger after banger. Last of Us. The year of the PS4, they sold millions of units in the year of the PS4. In the end, it made only 1 million more than the Xbox 360. 86 million was the 360. I think 87 was the PS3, so it barely yeah. snuck in there. So, but this is the thing. That doesn't mean anything, because for the, the amount of time that everybody was paying attention, the Xbox 360 was dominating. The PlayStation crept up because the Xbox was already like, all right, we're, we're on to our next thing. That's the only reason the PlayStation... Kind of got a breathing time. Yeah, got more room to, to eventually pass it. But it, nobody cared because the PlayStation was the inferior system. Fact, this is what I would say. I think their games are coming back to bite them in the bum bum. Um, they, they have since the PlayStation released, PlayStation 5, right? We're on. Um, they've been doing this soft, oh, we have some here and there. And everybody has to go and see if they can catch one. It's been it, it just playing games with people, and it hasn't stopped. All the they, oh, yes, there's some PlayStations not. here. There's some PlayStations there. 
it seems like they're playing just games. They knew these systems were coming out. How do you not have systems to sell? No, it's a chip so, shortage. So, so there's a chip. There's a big chip shortage that happened. Okay, so in the industry, people, the the companies who are making the chips for the systems to work, there was a big shortage. But the bigger thing, and this is where again Xbox <laughs> shows its superiority, um, is that Xbox the chips they use are fixed clocks. Meaning the, the system has a clock speed, right? The speed that the, the chip works, mm -hmm. okay? PlayStation, they chose to crank up their speed like crazy. It's like super fast clock speeds that are not normally sustainable because they had fewer um, of the computational pieces or whatever. There's some other pieces that they had less of. Um, so like the, the way you know if a system's more powerful is there's like some math that you do. You multiply one by the other and that gives you the rough math, right? So Xbox increased the amount of um, the computes it has. I forget the name of it, but it went up to like- Say it again. So um, Xbox increased the amount of, uh, of, I think they're called, comp there's computes or something. They're, they boosted up to 52, okay? And then they had a normal clock speed on the, the chip. Okay, so the math makes it much stronger. Much, yeah. PlayStation kept the number low. Mm -hmm. So it actually has the same amount as the PlayStation 4. <laughs> All they did was they increased the clock speed to super, like super so speed, 2.2 uh, gigahertz. It's super fast, right? Mm -hmm. So when you do the math, it comes out to be powerful. It's not more powerful than the Xbox. When you do the math, it's less. But, but it's more powerful it's than power PlayStation 4. Yeah, way, way more powerful than PlayStation 4. But this is the issue. When you make those chips, right? When chips are made, you don't just get every chip that's made. Mm -hmm. A lot of them end up like defective, right? Because they're not they're not hitting the, the speeds. Well, for Xbox, because they have a normal speed, the chips they get they have a higher yield from. Meaning, if they make a million chips, they let's just I'm just throwing a number, but let's say they keep nine hundred thousand of them, mm -hmm. right? Whereas PlayStation 5, because the chip needs to go so high, it's so yeah. extreme, that the yields are much lower. So let's say they do, they get a million chips, they're only keeping 600,000 of them that can actually be used. So, so basically, it's harder for them to make their PlayStation okay. than it is for Xbox to make theirs. Like, think about it. Xbox has beat PlayStation in America for the last three quarters. So almost the last year, um, and they are taking a lot of their systems and putting it into the cloud. Okay. So a lot of their systems are not even being sold to anybody because they're using it for X Cloud. So because they're using it for X Cloud, tick, tick, uh, technically they're they're having a, you know, they're not able to sell as much, but they're still kicking butt. PlayStation with their high yields is what's slowing them down. But I think. Um, Man, doing this this whole thing where they're raising the price, that's wild. In these other countries, like it's already like in, in they're saying fifty, but people are online in like these more obscure countries mm -hmm. because they have to get it almost in a different way. It goes up even more than that for them. So it's it's crazy that they're even doing that. Yeah, it's eight hundred bucks in Australia. It's like they're cocky. Mm -hmm. Like they're literally saying, that's what I'm saying. They're taking advantage of their uh, presence in these other countries if they are if they are leading the charts over that's there. The problem. They're cocky people. Like they once they do successful, they they, they are they think they're on top of the world. It, think about it, the original they PlayStation was a massive success. So PS2 in the beginning, they're like, oh, we could charge a bunch of money for this. It didn't work out at the very beginning, but they lowered the price. Thankfully, because of that gosh darn DVD player and all those features that no other console had, except maybe the Xbox a little bit later, they sold 155 million units, that's it. And then after the PS3, they're like, we have two successful consoles. We're 600 bucks! It did nothing. <laughs> and then they're like, yeah, we were just kidding. Finally, people bought in. Psych! It barely made more than Xbox. <laughs> well, let's then, hope that yeah. that comes around and they say psych to this whole yeah, thing. They, they and let's well. lower the price again. Yeah. PS4, same thing. They were like, uh, I don't remember the pricing of that, but I think it's more reasonable than 
the, you know, the last uh, PS3s, so they want to repeat that game. Like, oh, we don't want to upset them. Then they up made a bunch of money, 90 selling million, or probably more than that, 100 maybe million. What, PlayStation 4? Yeah. How no, many? It's like at 100, almost 100. 100 million? 100 million? Yeah. No, it's like 118. And right? now, here we are, the PS5. They're like, we are gods. So here, <laughs> and you know. <laughs> See, so what we need to do is keep PlayStation in check and start buying more Xbox <laughs> systems all around. So that we can, you know, not let it go to their head. I mean, listen, we'll see, we'll see what it is. They're they're cock. They're saying that there's the demand that they have in these other places. This extra fifty dollars is not going to stop them from selling the same amount. Listen, of and if they can do that, then go ahead. If you think about it, if if people can buy these systems and put them on um, eBay and sell them for double the price, right? Some people are willing, right? So start putting out more systems. If you're going to boost up the price a bit, get to work. Get those systems out so that, you know, people can actually have them. They're yeah, probably going to yeah. slow down production to make sure that they are going to sell <laughs> before um, they keep making these things. They are selling units. What do we do now, Mr. Jim Ryan? What do we do? <laughs> I don't know. It's just... It's wild that now, they had the boss to do. Is it the urgency of um trying to get these things that make them sell so much? Essentially, we're looking at like um the the amiibos for Splatoon. They're re releasing uh the two pack of um what's her name? Callie Marie. Callie and Marie. And then they're releasing the Inkling Girl from Splatoon two, the amiibos, and Amazon has been having them on and off. Now, this is what I don't understand. They do a wave and it's like, oh my God, Rush, go grab it, right? And then it's gone. Missed it. But then they have another little wave. So do they have enough and they just do it like that so that people have the urgency of going to grab it as soon as possible and they s sell out that chunk instead of having it sitting there and it seems like it's just there and people don't feel that desire of like, oh my gosh, I got to grab it before it sells out. Like, well, are I these think that's tactical the games? Thing, that's the only thing that makes them valuable, right? Look at uh, the problem. See, the problem why the other things didn't work, remember Disney Infinity, mm -hmm. I brought this up, is because they made a crap Abundance. ton of everyone. Mm -hmm. So because they made a crap ton of everyone, nobody felt the need to buy them because yes. they were always there. So if you really wanted to play with that character... You didn't have to worry about it because it was already there. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it's just a matter of, you know, they create this yeah. false sense of, of scarcity. Mm -hmm. And it's like, oh my God, I got to go grab it. The funny thing is, is that out of all of them, out of out of uh, Disney, you remember Warner Brothers had the Lego... Uh, oh, well, Lego Dimensions. Lego Dimensions. They had Lego Dimensions and they had um, the other... No, it was just those two, right? Yeah, just oh, no, Skylanders. Oh, yeah. No, I'm not saying Warner had. Oh. I'm saying there was there was Disney yeah, Infinity, Skylanders, Disney Infinity, Skylanders, Lego Dimensions, the, the Lego Dimensions, and Skylanders. Oh, and recently there was Starlink, it, but eh, no, Star that, that, they didn't make multiple toys. Right? No, they Dutch. just made it was just the one figure. Um, but all of them had that same thing. They were all out there. Like, Skylanders, the Skylander games were really good. I hope that Xbox once that deal closes, I hope they bring that back. Right? But, but so get rid fun. of the toys. No, why? Why? The, the, there's so many. And it's well, not like you're being matter. like, oh, Darth Vader, that's my favorite. It's oh, like... no, no, I, I'm sorry. Not Disney Infinity. I always. No, so Disney no, no, Infinity, I know what you're talking about. Even though the figures were stunning and they were very detailed and everything, yeah. they had um, the, the actual game itself. I, di I didn't feel like it was a great game. Yeah. Skylanders, on the other hand, they were not known characters, but. They were also very, very nicely made. The figures were really pretty. They were really nice. Yes. And they can bring it back. Maybe don't have a million mm -hmm. characters. You know that, what I'm saying? Yes, they got overboard when they saw that everybody was buying them. Yeah, and they, they made an obscene so, amount so of characters. Many. Now, yeah. the game, though, itself was really good. Every yep. game they released. Every I think one. my least favorite one was with the Giants. because oh, Giants? Yes, because you had to be close together and it will kind of pull you. Yeah. Oh, because Giants are slower. Yes. Oh. They move much lower, much slower. So it, they had to be closer together when you were playing. But the actual games were really good. That was yeah, my I agree. I think I agree. when you got money, they, like I remember the first two, they were still like, eh, this is Skylanders, this is a new thing. But with Swap Force, 
they were looked beautiful. They almost like like Pixar movies. The way they were the mm-hmm. animated looked, it got, they got really nice. The budgets were better. So. Yeah, I th- well, this is the thing. Xbox is looking to have more kid stuff. They want more kid stuff. Oh, they show, like, then that's probably looking. definitely so gonna I come feel, back. I feel and Bobby uh, Kotek, the CEO of Activision, he had made it did an interview and he said that he is um, hopeful that once Xbox does take over that they actually bring out some of these things that they had to stop making because their margins weren't what mm-hmm. they needed it to be but Microsoft being such a bigger company they can do it and not worry about those little margins because Skylanders was great yes and it's agreed, a known 100%. entity so if you bring out Skylanders tomorrow and like look there's like these six figures or these ten characters oh, that we have. Oh, and if you kept your old figures, you can use them. Oh, that brings man. value right back up for can those figures. Can you imagine? That would be wild. That would be wild. Like if yes. they just said, listen, cool. this Skylanders, yeah, there's these ten new characters and they're the ones in the story. But if you want to use any of your old characters. Trigger that Happy. Be, that was my favorite. Yes, oh, yeah. Trigger Happy. Trigger Happy. And the, the, the and they that looked like a tree with the hammer hands. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, and yeah. the girl with the um, hoodie. Yes. Yeah. How, they, oh, they kept awesome. making different iterations of them. Remember? Yes. They, they, like an evolution. Yeah. Almost, they, they took that Pokemon approach. Yeah. They, well, what was really impressive is that every single Skylanders game was playable with every single Skylanders. You could play yes. a game for the original Skylanders and put it on the Imagineers, the last one. The only ones that didn't do that were Nintendo and the Crash Bandicoot. That was the only exception, unless you play on their console. But other than that, you, yeah, you could use anyone. Yeah, that's it's really cool. I would love for them to bring that back. Now, there was one Disney game that I, I actually enjoyed. Um, and I know you guys Universe. remember. Yes, yes, Universe. that one. Um, that didn't age well. Though. No, it did not. It I need a remake well of that all. or, yeah, a brand new game. It was really fun when we used to play it, though. Yes. Yes. Have, you know they have a new Disney game coming out? Uh, Dreamville Valley or something like that, right? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, I heard about that. I think it's coming to Game Pass. So I I'm think so. Mistaken. You guys okay. remember that game where you get to walk through Disney? That's what Disneyland Disney Adventure. Oh, this Disney. is. Yeah, like, but, I'm but not it's big not, on those. Yeah, yeah, but I think it's a. It has a story. It's like a story to it. So, so it's not just, yeah, that's great. And I think the PS5 price increase is not great. <laughs> mm-hmm. I agree, hundred yeah. percent. Yeah, yeah. I don't think it's. I don't think it's a smart thing to do in this. I think a lot of people will agree. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Oh, yeah, for sure. Right. So, that's going to do it for this Madman podcast. Guys, if you like this podcast, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you guys for listening. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace. Out.